We'll have to get out of sight. I can't. My ankle, it's hurt. Wait here. Well, I guess that finishes them all right. Better make sure, though. Dalton, you stay here with the horses. The rest of you come with me. This man will remain here as our prisoner. The others are our guests. Be a good guest, Sammy. Let's get over by the fire. Thank you. Speaking of Red's good, I'll get even with you for this. The rawhide make good rope to tie wild animals with. Hi, Bird. Hello, Alan. Hi, Sammy. Hi, Sammy. Thank you. You're all friends of the Lone Ranger, aren't you? One of them is the Lone Ranger. I'd stop worrying about who was the Lone Ranger, son. I ain't worrying myself anymore. I know who is. You do? Better keep that information to yourself, son. Washington sent Jeffrey to Texas because of his record as a just and honest administrator. And until I found that reward notice, I couldn't understand why he'd become such a thief. Such an unscrupulous villain. Had you ever met uh, the real Jeffrey before you came to Texas? No. A wounded trooper gave us some information once that might be interesting to you, Mr. Blanchard. The man died later, but he swore that what he said was true. This fellow seems to be somebody important. Well, maybe you might like to see it. I must warn you, sir, that you're interfering with the federal government. It will not be tolerated. I demand that you take me to Pecos at once. Sir, sir. So you're Colonel Marcus Jeffries, the newly appointed Commissioner of Finance of the state of Texas. I am. It says here that you're commissioned by the United States Treasury Department to enforce tax collection in this state. Take Colonel Marcus Jeffries outside and uh, show him that view of the valley. I think you'll find it very interesting. This piece of paper puts the wealth of Texas in the palm of my hand. Colonel Marcus Jeffrey. Boy, from now on, you're all going to be known as troopers. And you're now looking at Colonel Marcus Jeffrey, the new commissioner of finance. So Colonel Marcus Jeffrey died. And this renegade outlaw took over his credentials and used his name. 
Now I begin to see. But how did the Lone Ranger come into being? The Texas Rangers served as a company in the Civil War. And when the war was over, and they were returning to their native state... Like you and your rangers come along just in time. Sure does, Joe. Here. What happened to your horse? Jeffrey's tax collector took him away from me. Left me put. You've heard about Jeffrey's and his method. That's one of the reasons we're heading for Pegasus. Count on me if I can help. That's the spirit. We'll give you one of our extra horses to get back on. Right, Jeff. Where you reckon we're going to camp tonight, Captain? At Grand Pass. We'll rest up there before moving on to Pecos. You all right, Joe? Yeah. We'll be leaving you here, Captain. But I won't forget what you've done for me. That's all right, Joe. Take care of yourself. until those deaths are avenged. What a tremendous task the Lone Ranger had before and him. He still has. I hope that spy Joe Sneed got what was coming to him. He did. He had promised Jeffrey that he would throw open the gates to the stockade so that Jeffrey's troopers hide in and slaughter the ranchers who were holding out there. The Lone Ranger knew of this and was riding to stop him. intend doing with the prisoner uh, while he's gone. White man used water to loosen rawhide. All Indian trick. He's taken the Lone Ranger's gun. Spread out and search for him. He's in the cavern somewhere. Sammy, you stay here. Come on, Tato. one at a time, so don't make a move. Come on. Stand close to that kid or I'll start shooting. Now, where's the Indian and those other two? Come on. Get near that kid. No. Not no good. Loud noise may cave fall, maybe whole roof. All of you, get out there where I can see you.
still one missing. Now, I'm going to count ten, and if he don't show up, I'm going to start shooting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on, I ain't just talking. 